What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jake Gutter, in the motherfucking building. Today, we is finna check somebody out, so let's go. Alright, so let's check him out, check him out. Let's see what he's got here. He's got some pieces here, so, uh... It's looking like he might be a free-to-play player. Let's check out some of his heroes first before we start at checking them out and see what type of gear he has. Okay. He's got a few pink ranger sets, so that's looking good already. Lozaka's built pretty decent. Okay. Got gear on Valkyrie? No. Okay, I'm just, just getting an idea of what type of gear you're working with here. Looks like he does. He does use Chenny. Okay. So, first off, let's look at your heroes. You gotta get that third skill right there to a, a to a level one hundred to a level ten like ASAP, bro. Um, for the double E strats on both days, um, definitely gonna elevate your guild raid score. So that's something that you need to work on like as soon as possible. Um, let's see here, Dominique. You might want to raise her also, but you do have Crut, so it's not too big of a deal. But um. I find on Golden Tiger Muzaka days, it's not good to run Crut since he has such high defense. Sometimes he will outlive um, Muzaka. So you want to be kind of careful with that. So Dom right here, make sure that you start leveling her and farming her. Get her skills up. Let's see here. Let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Um... Okay, so you do have fucking uh, Razel here, so he will work for your DPS build. I would use him for guild raids also, for your DPS hero. Um, it's looking like you use him for PvE, I mean PvP also, so that's not looking bad. You got his skills maxed, let's see what he's at, 33k attack. Ooh, 103 fucking crit. That's fucking impressive. You got his mastery up. His defense is up. Let's look at some of your pots here. That is an ideal bow right there. That is some good shit. Okay, so you know you need to reroll that one. That's perfect right there. I would, um... I wouldn't even waste pots on it, actually, to get rid of that blue... Wouldn't mind to see a boss uh, percentage damage there. It's looking pretty solid, man. I would probably drop one of these rings, though, for a brooch. So, um... This one right here, you got the crit damage. And you got the... That's an ideal piece right there. Try to re-roll this uh, recovery... Uh, one MP every turn. Try to reroll that and get a boss damage on that. And um, transcend the shit out of it. So if you transcend that, um, you can get rid of this and put a brooch. Because you need to get a little bit more defense on him. 51% uh, 50, is not going to cut it. But um, I do like your build right there. And um, you might be able to get away with dropping all of these and just keeping this level this uh this ring right here so yeah drop both of these for brooches and um transcend this ring right here and um your crit's gonna still stay at 100 with the weapons that you do have currently so you're looking good there um damage is like to me damage is like it's just as critical as uh 
your attack by percentage so you want to make sure that you get the damage the damage should be the second thing that you you lock in as soon as you're going rolling for a potential um i usually like to get the the high attack by a percentage and then damage is your next priority and then crit damage you do have the purple crit damage that's fucking op as a motherfucker on there um crit rate is important but it's not too too important to where you could settle for a blue one or whatever you know what i'm saying so it doesn't have to be orange but make sure that you start gunning for those damages um, so value damage over crit damage, but crit damage is going to be your third on your list of things to roll for. That's looking, that's looking good once you re-roll it. So you got a good damage. Um, I like your setup for Razel. Um, it looks like you're pretty much a free-to-play player, so your setup for Razel is nice. We just need to fix that defense. What is this set giving you? Oh, it increases defense by 700. Cool. So you're already getting the perk from that. Are you missing defense on your armor or something? No, you got it there. You got it there, and you got the flat. Okay, so you need to get a better one there. That's looking good. You need to you need to roll that like on your one star gear. Um, the increase in attack by a uh, percentage of HP is always awesome. Um, you got to get the increase HP um, by a percentage on this. Uh, the one star accessory, I do believe that's like um, one of the sole perks that you can get on the one star. That's exclusive for the one star is the increase in HP. I think the max is two percent. Um, orange is like between a 1.6 and, and a 1.7. So, uh, definitely try to get that up on there. But, uh, as far as your, your Razel goes, he looks fucking awesome. Now, it looks like you do use Crut also. He's looking pretty good. Oh, wow. You got all immunities on him. So, that's looking fucking fantastic. That's, uh, it's pretty spiffy there. You need to get his defense up, though, man. He has one of the highest base defenses in the game. So even being a free-to-play player, um, you should be able to get his defense to at least like a 60, 62%. Shouldn't be a problem with you. Um, his attack's a little on the low side. Okay, so you do have a low attack there. Um, let's see what his mastery is at. You do got 100% mastery. But you're running... You're running two necklaces here. Let me see how good this ring is. That's a fucking damn nice ring. So yeah, I can see that. All right, transcend. Pick a necklace to transcend. Um, I would probably pick the four star here and uh, transcend it. You need to re-roll that though for sure. Um, keep the increase in the attack by uh, HP for sure, and uh, try to get you uh, increase crit rate by a percentage of defense. So get that rolling on there too and, and whatever other preferences that you prefer to go to. Um, yeah, so transcend that one right there. Get rid of this one and get a brooch. Um, let me see if you got any other one-star gear on anybody else that you can throw over there. It's not looking... not looking let you do all right first off let's check out your lead here because this guy is your bread and butter and um guild raids so on your guild raids days definitely put the full born assassin on him the pink ranger is an awesome set let's see what you got here you got to get lee's crit rate up immediately so get that up there immediately um with your equipment there switch his bows around and uh, stack as much crit damage as you can on him like yeah th like this bow's gotta go dude so give Lee better stuff on his days but it does look like you have a free to play build so you can switch gear on him no problem any time of the day let's check out your Mazaka here 
Your bazooka is pretty nicely built here. You do got his set for regen purposes, and I do believe that the, your two-star set adds like what is it, a thousand of defense if somebody's within one cell? No, nah, just a, okay. Yeah, activates if there's one or more enemies within one cell. Okay. So um, that's a pretty solid build on him. Um, too many swords though. You want to try to get Muzaka's crit rate up to uh, uh, 50 percent. So what's your potential is looking like here? Looking pretty solid. Um, drop the two defenses up top and get yourself uh, some crit rate going on there. And um, drop this sword right here. It is that's a damn nice sword though. I'd still drop it and put a bow. So get you a bow there. Um, you're already running one sword. Uh, yeah, his hit rate is still a little low. That's a pretty solid setup right there for your Muzaka, so um, that's not too bad there. So it's looking like you use uh, you use Muzaka, Crut, Razel, and it's looking like you use Chenny for your Battle of Honor. So Chenny's looking pretty positive. Um, this bootleg uh, Dasso set is good on her. The chocolate set's good on her, too. Let's see what her stats are. Her attack is way too low. Way, way too low. So, um... Yeah, you're just missing a lot of... A lot of modifications on there. Um, now, if you don't have platinum gear... Make sure that, uh... You start stocking up on that when you do get it. Just farm the shit out of gear, you know, on Sunday. And farm the shit out of gear on boards when you're clearing levels and stuff. And, um... Try to get you some platinum um, bows going on there so that you can uh, transcend them. Um, the regular bows are not bad, but you don't want to just start wasting a bunch of your modification pots on regular gear if you have something else to go there. Um, your hero collection looks amazing, so um, I don't really see anybody from here that you're uh, missing. So you're looking good there. Moss is good on one of the boss days, so you want to get him at least to a five star. Um, on the lava boss, I I don't I forget his fucking name, but Moss is really good there. Um, so get Moss leveled up ASAP as soon as you can. Um, if you're having trouble, let's see here. Um, Jen right here. Start focusing on her too. Get her leveled and skilled. Um, looks like you have started to, to farm her, but start farming her third, then her passive, second, and so on. So get her going ASAP. Let's see here. You got uh, you got him going on here too. Yeah, like see, you already got some platinum armor over here. You need to you need to get this armor right here, get it upgraded, and put this on correct. So you need to get that going. Um, judging from the amount of sets that you do have, it doesn't look like you're able to beat um, Tower of Dawn hard yet. So, um, actually, I don't even think I see Yika on your thing here. So make sure that you get her. Um, it doesn't look like you have Lena either. So one of your main priorities that's going to help you get past the Tower of Dawn is um, save, your, save your perfect genes. Don't waste them on nobody. And as soon as you get uh, Lena, but fuck that, we call her Lena. Uh, sounds cooler. Um, as soon as you get her, max out her third. Keep her second low so that you can spam it and then max out her second or her first skill and that's going to help you out a lot. And then um, go passive and then you can upgrade second last. So make sure that you get her to help you get through the tower. Um, Muzaka is going to help you get through the tower. Let's see how your skills are doing on Mu. Do you got Mu Max? Get Mu Max ASAP, bro. It looks like you're working at it. So get her ASAP. Um, she'll help you get through the tower also. Um, Lee's a fucking monster. And it does look like you ha do have his soul gear. So you're looking, you're looking in pretty solid shape for uh, 
guild raids and everything. Just focus on Dominique. Um, get Lily's fucking third maxed out as soon as possible. Get Maz to a level 5. You can leave him there. He doesn't have to be a high level 5, but get him a level 5. Get Jin a level 5. Work on her skills. Get her going. Because she's going to be your scissor DPS. Her and Lee. Um, you need to. You can go with uh, Rena here, but I feel that uh, Jin does a better job. Uh, Rena's not a bad choice either. You do have her maxed. So, whichever one that you want to do. Um, Rena, I found that she has like MP problems, so I'm not really too, too sold on her. So, um, be careful with that one. Um, still get her 5-starred for sure and uh, get that rolling. Um, but you're looking pretty solid, bro. I like what you're doing here. Just don't get too carried away with your modification potions unless you have like an ass load saved up. But um, try to save them for when you beat the Tower of Dawn and you get your free sets. Um, use your modification potions then. Because uh, let me tell you, it's going to elevate you quicker in the future. Like it might hurt you now because you don't have the gear. But once you get the gear, when you have an ass load of modification potions and you could just make it OP as shit and get all the stats that you want on it rolled right away, it's, it's going to help you out better versus spending it on a regular bow, getting the bow fucking OP. But then you're going to replace it with a platinum bow eventually anyway. So if it's not platinum, don't go wasting any modification potions on it. Just sit on it. Just get the bare minimums. Just uh, focus on getting the damage and um uh, increase an attack by a percentage uh, on your armor just just get you to defense and then increase in hp um this one you can it's a set so you can you can put modification potions on it same thing with this one it's a set so go ahead and, and roll that and get it going but kind of save on to your other ones until you get platinum or better gear and i think that you're going to be okay with that um you really need to start getting your five-star collection of heroes. It doesn't look like you've been you've been playing long at all. So as far as me judging by where you're at, um, for as long as you've been playing, you're looking pretty fucking solid, dude. You do got a Bella going on there. How's her skills looking? Oh shit! Yeah, it looks like you used your perfect genes from the tower on her a few times. It's not a bad move, but um, you don't really have the gear to make her very useful and then in the tower of dawn hard um she's useful but not as useful so she's good on guild raids also so um i do have the free to play equipment guide and um you need to follow that it looks like you've already been establishing some dasso pieces so you got three that i see so focus on that. I see that you do have this piece. Um, I'm hoping that you just got that randomly off a of gold cap or something. Um, or a Tower of Dawn cap. So make sure that you focus on getting the Dasso. Get six, get six pieces of it total. You already got three, so you only got three more to go. So um, save up your crystals right now until next time Dasso comes up. If you don't have a minimum of 4,000, do not bother to roll. And um, you're looking in good shape, man. So I like what you're doing here. Um, I would recommend, damn, you do got a, got a couple pieces of Slime King too. I would build, I would build Valkyrie over Muzaka and I would take off his, uh, I would take off his Black Ranger set and I would give it to Crut all day. Crut's super broken. So, um, whatever gear that you can take off of him and put on to, uh, Valkyrie, go ahead and do it. Um, Valkyrie is just a better tank. As far as in Battle of Honor goes, um, staying alive. Because your Mazaka, even though how he's built, um, she's going to get better perks and just be way harder to kill. So um, that's what you want them to be all about. So give her his his sets and you'll be okay. So for a Battle of Honor team for you, I'd recommend uh, Razel. I'd recommend Crut. Uh, get Valkyrie going. And... Um, Chinny wouldn't be a bad bad bit uh bad deal there. So or yep. Lee's kinda just like you don't really have the gear for Lee. But um Yeah, you're not doing too bad, bro. So that's the team that I would recommend for a Battle of Honor team uh for you. So you're looking pretty solid, dude, for uh level 75, so 
you've been playing for a little minute, but uh, not too far. But uh, let's get you through the Tower of Dawn hard. So get get uh, get Lena ASAP, dude. Um, make sure that you're able to beat your uh, level 10 uh, DB every day. So you got to make sure that you knock that out, dude. You just have to um, get her ASAP. Unlock her. And as soon as you unlock her, you're going to beat the Tower of Dawn hard. We will get you Yika. And she's going to be a monster. So um, I'll even walk you through it my damn self, the Tower of Dawn. So that won't be a problem. Um, make sure that you start getting you more heroes here. Um, try to acquire, like, <clears throat> just watch my Guild Raid tier list. And anybody who's in Tier 1 or Tier 2, you fucking farm them every day. If you don't got them, you farm them, get their skills up. And uh, you're going to be just fine, dude. So you're looking pretty fucking positive as far as I can see. Anyways, it's your boy, Jake Gutter. Holla at me.